Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a familiar face, the A-Class, a Mercedes A-Class, which we replaced the ABS pump and ended up not fixing the brake pad wear message on the dash. And to be honest, that was bugging me. I couldn't understand what was going on. And two days later, after the girl picked up the car, she sent me a text saying the ESP light was back on. So I said, uh, you know, bring it back. I'll have a look. Uh, maybe I missed something, but she mentioned uh, something that wasn't related, but it was good that she mentioned. She said she went through um, uh, quite a big puddle. I think she had water up to the wheels, uh, which makes me think a little bit, check more wiring. Um, it's not the problem. It's not related to the issue. But um, I did a little bit more digging. I went through every single wire uh, there's a block for all the current communications it's like a, a link block right in the corner there all good and because that happened again and i still had the old pump i open up the old pump as you can see here remove the mechanical part you know where all the valves are and the motor and i found i'm gonna put a picture here but i found one of the the wires inside the pump was broken <clears throat> now i'm thinking wow is the second pump that we fitted in has the same problem right still didn't click and what i did was i put a little bit of wire there just to fix the uh, the, the wire that was broken. It's quite hard to solder this thing because I think it's some kind of alloy. But I fit just the model, the module back in, and it worked. No message on the dash. Fantastic, perfect. And I thought maybe that pump is is knackered. But I still have the ESP light complaining about the ER rate sensor, and I couldn't really understand because when I tested everything. I couldn't see anything wrong on the waveform, apart from one time. So I scoped the, the, the current line, so the Yarate sensor has uh, communicate with the ABS module by its own current line, dedicated current line. Not on the main network, but it's like a second current line. And I only could see the signal skew with once, and after that it was perfect. I drove the car, couldn't make it play up again. And also only once when I was checking for, for short, uh, I couldn't manage to, to you know, to, to see a short on the curl line between the R rate sensor and the module where, uh, you know, I saw a short to positive or, or battery voltage terminal 30 only once. And, um, uh, which is a bit annoying. But I'll show you now what I found. So I had the car back for a few days and let's remove this. And as you could see there, uh, there was uh, three wires that was touching the bottom of the body of the car. So I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but where it bends at the bottom there, it was touching the side of the body right there. And it basically went through and those three wires were the the main power, one of the main powers for uh, terminal 34 for the ABS pump. And then the second one was a brown terminal 30, which is for the brake pad wear sensor. Or yeah, sensor. Uh, so that was shorted with with the body of the car and the main power of the ABS pump. And also another black and white, I believe, or black from the car line, from the yard rate sensor to the pump. So those three wires was uh, cut through and it was rubbing in the body of the car and shorting it together. Right, so I just, you know, I still have to do the, the road test procedure to calibrate the pump. And it's still got the ESP lights on, but I'll show you now. Uh, that we don't have a brake pad wear sensor, which I, you know, it was bugging me for a while. So I'm gonna put this back again, and I'm gonna take for a, 
road test procedure and then I'll bring you guys with me. Special functions, road test, yes, ignition off, try not to make the same mistake again, okay, ignition on, all the way, yeah, <clears throat> so there you go, so have the steering angle there. It doesn't seem to change on the figure there. Right, so I've tried to, to do the procedure, the run test procedure with the thin car. It didn't work out. I believe it was because when you press on a, a run road test, it doesn't actually see the stereo angle sensor. So I've got the hotel back and i just done the procedure i don't have my uh, uh my gopro to film it guys so i'm just gonna drive this little bit the girl lives around the corner here so i'm just gonna film this little bit here and then you see we don't have any more faults let me turn the car off and turn the car off and on again we don't have the brick brick wear sensor anymore message how can I access the message here? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any message. Otherwise, if we had any faults, we'd have a message there. Uh, so no more brake pad uh, wear message and no more ESP lights. So I just done the, the, the road tests, run the road tests, which is kind of like, I would say calibration. And as you can see, I'm, I'm gonna push the car here, 30 miles an hour, pretty much, and no faults. So the hotel did the job again of calibrating this car. Um, and I can't say many bad things about the thin car, but unfortunately for this specific fault, or for this specific procedure, uh, it wasn't able to do. Apart from that, it's been great. Just one more time to make sure. Ignition on. Start the car. There we go. The only thing that we have on a on a dash there is the reserve fuel level. It's running out of fuel as always. But happy with that. Padware sensor fault, nothing. And ESP wheel driving, as you could see, no more ESP faults. All done. Finally some closure on that Mercedes A-Class. <laughs> what a pain, but we finally uh, found the, the issue, the brake pad wear sensor. Obviously it was uh, open inside the pump rather than outside like we tested it. We tested it, everything was okay. Um, takes everyone for the inputs uh, saying like, replace the, the, the sensor for our original one, Mercedes original one. But I'll show you here, this is the original pump that was in the car. And, um, you know, I fixed that wire there and I put it back in the car. So all the wires I squashed because it wasn't my table here now. But I ended up refitting the, the one that I bought, put it back in the car, did the same thing here, just put a little wire there. And it worked. Now, a bit annoyed that I didn't find the damaged wire before, the, the three wires that was damaged. But when I scoped the yard rate sensor the car lines i only managed to to get bad signal or shorter signal once and i was a bit confused if i didn't put like the probes in properly and then i put the probes in back in it worked i, I had this scoped hooked up drove for about 10 15 minutes the signal was good so and then i test the abs side of things as well again i i tested the test light and once i could tell like i mentioned there i could tell it was shorter to positive and then next minute when i checked it wasn't uh, i wiggled the wires and i couldn't replicate 
And the only reason why I found the key was, was because, you know, I went through everything the second time the car was around. And I noticed the water was dripping from the washer bottle and all the harness were wet. So I decided to remove it this, just to inspect it. And I found the issue there. All the clips was in place, you know, all the, the harness was like in the right place and everything. So, and I don't think, you know, I might said in the video there was grounded to the body of the car. I don't think it was grounded to the body of the car. I think it was grounded to a clip. That's why the ABS module, um, main power uh, wire, uh, which is fused, didn't blow the fuse, I believe. But anyway, we found the guys, got some closure. It's all fixed now. <laughs> Um, I took for a calibration with the old tail in the end because the thing car didn't do it and worked out great. So car's fixed, the girl's happy. And thanks very guys for all the inputs. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.